Noddy, I should think. Ah, look, here he is. Lovely little chap. Sweet. <laughs> letters. Darling, the receipts are fantastic, the, the, the show's a huge hit, and, and they want it back next year. What more could you possibly want? I want people to stop saying that I don't write my own books, Kenneth. Look at this. It seems to me that it is not possible for one person to produce the number of books that Miss Blyton claims to write. I suggest that you are a liar and a fraud, Miss Blyton. And why are all your working class characters criminals? Well, at least that one breaks monotony. These people are beastly, darling, but you really must try and get over this. I know, but the more I think about it, the worse it gets. What about my children who read my books? They'll think that I'm a fraud. They'll think that I've let them down. <laughs> They're saying my life is a lie, Kenneth, and I'm not a liar. Of course you're not, darling, of course you're not. Come on. Now, oh, moving on. Critics do often say of your books... Really, I don't they... care about any critic over the age of 12. Nevertheless, they do suggest that your books are perhaps a little old-fashioned. Well, I only care about children. And they will always love my books. Because, well, I understand what they want. I know about all the secret places they like to escape to. I don't think that'll ever change. Do you? I'm sure it won't, Miss Blyton. That went marvellously. Think you deserve a little drink, darling. What will you have? G and tea? G and tea? <laughs> Gin and tonic. Oh, no. Yes, please. All right. Mm. 
I was, um, I was just wondering, um, trying to remember the name of my brother. Hanley. Oh, yes. Hanley. How ridiculous. How could I forget that? The other one? Carrie. Yes. Carrie. What about them? Um, shall we have that, um, what was the drink you mentioned? d and Yes. That sounds delicious. Let's have one of those. Coming right up. You should uh, take your coat off, darling. Does the house seem very empty to you, Kenneth? Discover the hidden story of Enid Blyton's dealings with the BBC and hear from the woman herself at the BBC Archive website. <laughs> 